Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for €5 Euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material. Again, the conditions obviously play the part too, but every, I say... As in it was hard to... Uh, hard to hurt, yeah. It was, it was messy out there at times, but like our forward line in general were just sensational. Like the way they defended yeah. in groups like Joe, and you can see the intensity that the lads brought. And Conor Finn has his prime for running for 90 minutes, so yeah. that, that showed as well, so... Unbelievable for young lads to finally beat Dublin. Yeah, it's, we've had a good transition, like, Joe, people say because we've been a team, Joe, but these lads come in, there's no history, there's no baggage with them. They come in, they play football, they enjoy it. They give us confidence as well, us older lads, so it's it's brilliant, like, Joe, and we get such exuberant excitement watching them lads do as much as they do with us, like, so, um, yeah, they'll enjoy it, don't worry. How do uh, they, feel at the end? I uh, just tired, happy. <laughs> so I, I, when they whistle it, I just want to get home. So so go 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 hug the family. So yeah. when you compare it with last year, remember Dublin felt like they kept you at arms like the whole game, and then the first half is kind of similar here. What did you change, or what changed in the second half? Uh, nothing. Just we just didn't panic as much as we did in the first half. We were kind of dwindling the ball probably too much at times, and just started progressing with the ball. We moved forward. We kept moving the ball. Didn't stop. You know so little things like that um, and we just kind of grind them down towards the end the pressure kind of told and I said four points in 55 minutes against Dublin is, is, is no mean feat so we're going to take that as a defensive group so um, no, we just as James always echoes never panic there's always time there's always time So and you did to them, to them okay? did you hold on to the ball for the last few minutes we did and I, I don't think I looked at any of it three hours <laughs> I was looking for someone to carry me off so yeah we did no and that's that's I suppose something we've kind of learned is just grind down a game where three points up you know Dublin had half a goal chance and we, we just switched out again and really knuckled down and that was, that was kind of the last chance they had so uh, fair play to the lads they're, they're comfortable a lot more comfortable than I am at times so. and like things have gone against you Killian's out and then obviously Oshin Moore's yeah. out as well but she, you know, still in the way yeah I think as we mentioned our squad depth is huge at the moment so um, we're not relying on 15 anymore we've seven eight guys come on and do as good job as the starter so they come on again today had a fresh legs and, and did the job and carried us over the line so it's brilliant you know um, it's going to be an exciting couple of weeks um, we'll dust ourselves off tonight now get recovery in the morning kind of is it weird then the situation the other semi-final the throw I'm not sure we won't even worry about it let them you know that'd be so sure. listen I don't know it's not for us to debate I'm sure that'll be taken care of by GA so we'll, uh, we'll worry about that in a couple of weeks time so Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for €5 Euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material.